Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope everyone's doing well out there. This is going to be another video that I have to laugh at. Uh, it's going to be like another learning video, okay? And I will show you some clips here. And uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is actually a replacement item of something I already have from Dome. I had a faulty Harley Benton product that uh, I provided them visual and audio uh, examples of to show that there was an issue and uh, they then asked me for a repair amount how much it would cost to do the repair on said item and I told them and they found it was far simpler for them to actually replace the product fully. So this is where it gets really, really interesting. Really, really humming again on this one. Same issue on this appear it appears to have the same issue on this that it does on the other one, which is it's almost like this isn't shielded or grounded the um, jazz bass pickup. So and it seems like as soon as I roll the tone pot and you hear that like hum going on. If I back it off a little bit, the hum's still there, but if I turn it up full, and it doesn't matter which way I have it turned. All right, so here's the funny part of all this. This is coming from somebody who mods guitars, who wants to show you how to mod your guitar, how to to refinish guitars wants to show you how to do things with musical instruments okay and he doesn't know this now so he says he got a hold of Toman and Toman basically said okay well if fixing the guitar the repairs of the guitar or bass in this case is going to exceed the amount of money uh, of the bass is worth we'll just send you a new one so they did Rock on. Good customer service. But for somebody who supposedly knows about bass guitars, electric guitars, pickups, and everything else, those are single coils. That is a low-end single coil pickup. It's not like it's a brand name like a Wilkinson's that, you know, Toman does put on their Harley buttons. But you spend a little bit more money on there. Now, that guitar U.S. is only worth, or that bass is U.S. is only worth $131, brand new from Toman. All right, don't know what they charge for the shipping part of it, but anyways, to repair this would be a hell of a lot cheaper than having to buy another one or having Toman send you one. And now, you know, the kindness of Toman's heart, you know, they're thinking they did good, and this guy here is basically saying, well. This is doing the same thing that my other one did. Now, a cheap pair of pickups is causing the problem. Well, you can upgrade those. You like to do modding, right? Or if that's what you want to call it, modding. Get yourself a set of used or middle grade pickups for that base. That does not exceed the price of the base. Therefore, you know, he lied to Toman. And if it was a grounding issue, that could have been an easy fix. Again, he lied to Toman to get another base. And then come to find out, both of them had the same problem. As far as the tone control goes, well, you have a high frequency that is picked up by the the buzzing is picked up by real easily and as you start rolling that tone control down it kind of cancels out a little bit of that buzzing it's doing its job it's going to do that i've worked on so many different bases and had come across the same issues with some noise shielding it helps but doesn't get rid of it 
it's a single coil. So what would the right thing for this person to do? Now I would say the right thing for this person to do is to send back the new one because there's nothing wrong with his old one. You know he's not going to do that. Guarantee it.